one more. Uh, hey there, beer tubers. Welcome back to Maxwell Stars Beer Review. Very tired. Uh, day after, not the day after, but the night after. Uh, the Albino Rhino Beer Fest, which was another successful year. Gonna take a look at a beer that was uh, given to Chad by uh, the people of Black Swan. This is a growler of their road trip pale lager, 4%, 4.7% ABV. Bottled on the 12th of May, 2016. Chad and, and Bubba just take a, took a look at this thing. And uh, well, I'm not gonna get too much detail, but it's a pale lager. I mean, this one, you know, all the beers that I've had from Black Swan so far have been pretty unique and pretty, pretty like uh, damn tasty. They had a really amazing, like a mosaic IPA. Uh, they had a uh, the, the wild child bill like a um, uh, Berliner Weiss, which is uh, real. It was really nice and like a very tart wheat beer. Um, and uh, they have a pretty good porter. What I'm trying to say is that this is not their usual thing. And according to Chad, uh, they didn't even want us to review it. And yet, you handed a beer reviewer a bottle of beer. Okay. Now the biggest thing is it, when I got the explanation, like they were telling me about this beer. This is one they actually brewed from themselves uh, to drink when playing hockey or after playing hockey. This is one thing they just wanted to quench the thirst with. So it's just like a, a beer for their friends that aren't necessarily uh, craft beer drinkers and just want to have something to drink. And it totally makes sense. I mean, not everybody's in the super into craft beer. Not everybody's gonna want the big hoppiest IPA. Not everybody like. Bubba is going to want uh, something that's so insanely flavored that uh, uh, that it really just puts them off. I mean, so, for those people, there's the pale lager, and every brewery pretty much has one. So yeah, this one is uh, Black Swan. So let's see how they do at this product. And if I recall correctly, and I kind of agree with it, is that uh, Chad was saying something about one time that. Like a simple beer like this, if they do this right, because this is a, a beer that is going to be difficult to, because the cleaner, the lighter the beer is, it doesn't hide flavors very well. Like you can what make you a, watching, boy? Biatch? What? I'm reviewing. What you watching, boy? You got a pretty mouth. All right. Looking at that, that looks actually spot on compared to the. Uh, Mountain lager or something that I had at Upstarts uh, or not, not Upstart uh, Side launch there uh, a couple days ago very clear very little head Plenty of carbonation. It looks like ginger ale Except for a bit touch more yellow straw color But yeah, like as I was saying like a, a beer like this is not gonna hide its uh, its uh, Mistakes well like it tastes a little buttery like that might get covered up with a stout or a porter, maybe even an IPA. But with the with this, no, it, it's going to be there um, because there's not a lot to fill out to mask it. Now, if you do one of these well, then you're pretty damn good. Whatever. I'm getting a little off topic because I'm exhausted. So let's give this a sniff. Hmm. Yeah, so there's like a little bit of like toasted caramel grain, nondescript cereal grains. I haven't used this phrase in a long time, but I've used it before. It almost smells like the metal inside the can of, of uh, can of mushrooms, and that kind of sounds gross. It's not so much as it's almost got that little kind of. The, like the grassy herbal notes kind of mix in with the malt to make this kind of like a metallic like mushroom canned mushroom kind of smell now of course you know mushrooms are kind of a bit more extreme you know, like they're not quite that it's like just a hint overall it doesn't smell that bad so let's put it on the hatch cheers Light. Well, I, mean, I want to say it's light, but for a lager, it's fairly thick. There's also a big toasted grain coming up the back. Water, malt, hop, 
hops yeast. It doesn't say malt wheat and malt barley or malt corn. <laughs> mm. So, I mean, there's like hints of toffee in the toasted grain. Not a very... It, I mean, it doesn't finish dry. It's kind of wet in the back. It's not a real... Doesn't really have a pronounced hop bite. I mean, it's just got a little bit of maybe like an earthy herbalness coming up. Not even lingering in the back so much as it like in the tip as you drink it as it goes down. Other than that, it's kind of like not candy sweet, but there's a bit of malt sweetness there. Kind of a gentle malt. No, I gotta say one thing. I see people drinking this Miller Genuine Draft here, and you know that's lighter and not as good as it used to be. This is kind of in that ballpark. Um, I used to like that for that reason uh, because it tasted similar to this. And I'm looking at that bottle, and like, yeah. Now I've never been a super fan of Miller, but uh, this is—it's not bad. I gotta say that it's—it's it's good for a lager. It's not clean finishing. Uh, it's not, it's flavorful. That's the biggest thing that this thing has for going for it. But as far as um, being a, a, a clean finishing, a crisp lager, it's it's not. It's more, the body almost reminds me of like an ale because it's, oh. and online, I mean, going untapped, it says it's a pale lager. So who knows? It could actually be an ale. Most of are all, not all, are all, most if not all of all the other, Black, uh, Black Swan products I'm familiar with have all been uh, ales, so I'm not sure about if this is really an ale or a lager, but it tastes more like an ale. I don't know. It's not bad. I don't hate it. I'm not going to fail it. I like it. It's just it's not wouldn't be the first, obviously, the first one I would gravitate to. But, I mean, if you want something that you're just going to drink, sit there and, you know, enjoy it, shoot the shit with friends, and or, uh, in their case, uh, drink after a game, it's not bad. And it's uh, something for the uh, the average Joe. Uh, not not Joe, but the one average Joe we know, but the average person who doesn't like craft beer, but just likes to drink lagers, it's going to be okay. It's maybe a bit more flavorful than it used to, but still. Uh, I give it a three out of five. It's not horrible. I would try that again, maybe. But of course, I mean, it wouldn't be the first thing I would go to Black Swan. Say if I was at a beer festival or something, they had that and three others. Then I wouldn't, uh, I wouldn't pick that. I'd pick the three others. <laughs> Mainly because I know there's three others to be like their IPA, their Porter, and their uh, Wild Child. So it's there you go. Anyway, um, that's pretty much all I have to say. So it's this Black Swan's um, uh, what's it called? Road Trip 4.7 ABV. Thanks for watching Maxwell Stairs Beer Reviews. Talk to you folks later. Cheers.